Biden says this is it, the end of the Afghan war. No more extensions, apart from, well, this last one until September. We cannot continue the cycle of extending or expanding our military presence in Afghanistan, hoping to create ideal conditions for the withdrawal and expecting a different result. According to the deal struck between Trump and the Taliban, America was supposed to be gone in a couple of weeks' time, by May 1st. But the president, the new president, claimed that didn't give him enough time. The new date is symbolically September 11th. And the thousands of U.S. and NATO troops on that date will have left. In light of this, and recognizing that there is no military solution to the challenges Afghanistan faces, allies have determined that we will start the withdrawal of the Resolute Support Mission Forces by May 1st. Nobody in NATO wants to be in Afghanistan. Nobody. But they went to do a job to make sure that Al-Qaeda and its ilk never make it home again. And the only thing worse than staying in Afghanistan is leaving before that job is done, which has the potential to cast 20 years of war and bloodshed and effort to the wind. Our common goal is clear. Afghanistan should never again serve as a haven for terrorists to attack our homelands. So our presence is conditions-based. While no ally wants to stay in Afghanistan longer than necessary, we will not leave before the time is right. The US government itself is divided. Never mind NATO, Germany, for example, which previously opposed the withdrawal. Czech Republic came out and said that this is the wrong decision, but that they'll pull out in solidarity, leaving behind a vast, dangerous and uncertain power vacuum. The war isn't over. Almost 2,000 people have been killed in Afghanistan in the first three months of this year. But now, that's a problem for others. And we'll ask other countries, other countries in the region, to do more to support Afghanistan, especially Pakistan, as well as Russia, China, India, and Turkey. They all have a significant stake in the stable future for Afghanistan. Understand that the Taliban now is believed to be more powerful than at any point in 20 years. They control or contest more than half the country, and that's with thousands of NATO troops keeping them at bay. With those foreign troops gone, what's to stop them taking more? Besieging Kabul, undoing decades of humanitarian and human rights progress, would they still feel obligated to root out hardline terrorists? The U.S. never came here for the benefit of Afghanistan. No one was happy with the U.S. coming here, and I don't think many people will be sad to see them leave. The U.S. came to Afghanistan for its own interests, and that includes NATO and all other foreign troops, which are under the orders of Washington. When the U.S. came in 2001, they vowed to deliver peace in Afghanistan, but they failed. We can never trust American promises. If the U.S. soldiers leave Afghanistan, I think the situation will become worse because our country's security forces are not equipped well enough to fight against the Taliban, who have heavy weaponry. The U.S. promised many times in recent years about withdrawing its troops, but nothing happened. We hope for peace. Let's see what will happen. As you know, the U.S. came to ensure security in Afghanistan. And as you know, the situation has become worse day by day. Conflicts increased, and now the Americans are leaving. I don't think the Americans want Afghanistan to prosper. They are just seeking a way to flee from the mess they made, and they aren't thinking about the Afghan people. I think it could be good if we get peace. The Afghan people want peace. It's a good idea that America leaves Afghanistan. We, the Afghan people, are tired of war. The Taliban are also angry. They feel cheated again by this withdrawal delay. Already, field commanders are promising nightmare for foreign troops until they pull out. And on that note, American and European taxpayers who lost trillions of dollars on this war are left to hope for the best. That's it. No guarantees, no clear progress. The result of the Afghan war is that everyone's been left to hope for the best.